I, I am Palaiotis, known as Peter or Panos, Paxanos. I was born in, at the Epworth Hospital in Richmond in 1940, and uh, I grew up in Princess Hill Carlton. My father was born in Ithaca. He, came, he migrated to Australia in 1926. On his arrival here, he began working in the Victoria market and the South Melbourne markets. My mother is of Anglo-Saxon heritage. She uh, was also working at the Victoria market. Funnily enough, very close by to where my father's stall was. And uh, she took a liking to my father, but he wasn't sort of that interested. Because as we all know those days, uh, the families wanted their children to marry Greek people. So my mother, in her wisdom, hired Mrs. Vrachna, who was the uh, teacher tutor those days in Greek, and uh, she was teaching mum some basic Greek. And my mother would um, throw some words and sentences to my father. In 1938, they got married. In about 1951, my mother, for some reason, decided to immigrate or to take us to Ithaca. My father was reluctant in the beginning, but then he agreed. When we first arrived on the island in 1951, September, we were greeted with open arms from, from everybody, you know, which um, made the transition from going from Carlton to, <laughs> to the island uh, a lot easier. Initially, I was uh, very happy um, because we felt free. The life in Ithaca was twofold. It was interesting, but it was sort of not boring, but I felt as if I was trapped on the island. I couldn't get away. During the summer holidays, I learned to play the, the mandolin, self-taught. <laughs> and um, I'd take my mandolin to the village in Stavros on the summer holidays, and then there were people there that played guitars, you know, all novices, you know, sort of thing. And we used to have some cantada songs and, you know, we'd sort of sing and play music till the early hours of the morning, which was great. I ended up um, attending the Naval College in Vathi. Um, I fell ill and um, the doctors didn't really know what was wrong with me, so I ended up convalescing at home for a few months. I had time to think. I was saying, well, if I complete this academy, the Naval Academy, I would end up working at sea all my life and it wasn't so attractive. And I saw the return to Melbourne as, a, as an outing. And I convinced my father, my mother, mother and father, that uh, I'd like to return to Melbourne. When I was uh, 18, uh, I left um, Greece end of December. I arrived here beginning of January. And when I returned here, I went to uni, uni high for a few months. And then from there, I went to, um, to RMIT, uh, Royal Melbourne Institute, where I became um, an electronics television broadcast engineer. I became a member of the uh, IPS, the Ithaca Philanthropic Society, in '59, uh, and I was an active member all those years. Back in 1990, I, I attended one of the general meetings at the Ithaca Society, and uh, they nominated me as become part of the executive committee. Came the vice president for a couple of years, and then they voted me in as president in 1995. They used to have activities at our at our club, and the ladies would sort of bring their suites. And a lot of them would say, oh, you know, if we had a Rovania, it'd be great, <laughs> you know. And I knew Theon Thier, the Chilianis, who was the uh, chief Rovania maker for the Ithacans, and she used to make Rovania for every engagement party those days. So I um, organised a meeting with uh, Theon Thier out of her home. We went through the process of making the Rovania, and we recorded it as well. The Rovania was not considered... Uh, uh, not high class, but a proper sweet, you know. Now that the honey has increased in value and it's expensive, Rovani is a, a, a valuable sweet now, you know what I mean? And it's also difficult to make and it, it takes all day. The IPS, it's embedded into the family so deeply that uh, it's a no-brainer. That's where you go, you know. Um, uh, that, that's our club. It's our home. Well, I'm so optimistic that uh, that, that club will um, we'll live on for years to come.